Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, for today's video, I'm gonna do a little DIY craft afternoon slash video. Um, we are meant to have a rainy day today. Um, it hasn't happened yet, looking like blue skies out there. So, um, but the initial thought was it was gonna be rainy, we kind of just like hanging at home as we have been for the past year. So why not do some fun crafts? Um, so a couple of disclaimers. These ideas are not my own. I am a um, very creative person. I'm good at like around the house DIYs. I'm pretty handy, but I am not creative when it comes to crafting. Um, so I've seen these couple of crafts on Instagram and YouTube and I thought it'd just be fun to give them a try. Um, so I'm going to get my hands dirty, maybe crack open a hard kombucha or two and just have fun with it. Um, so one of the crafts is um, more of like a tonal, textural artwork piece. I've seen it all over Instagram primarily and it just looks really cool. I'm kind of thinking um, it could be a cool piece for above our bed. Uh, so I recently kind of did a little refresh in our master bedroom, which I have been vlogging the process. It's been a long process. I hope to share that vlog within the next month or so stuff was backordered and stuff was a little bit slow to pull together and then with the holidays and you know, so we're getting there. Um, but I'm thinking they could look cool above our bed. And then the other craft is um, using uh, polymer clay. It's like creating like a clay, like a dec decorative sculptural clay knot just to use in shelf styling or on a nightstand or whatever. So I think it looks really cool. I'm hoping it turns out cool. I got polymer clay early in quarantine and was like, oh, I'm gonna make like Christmas ornaments and these cool, like thought I was gonna do all these fun projects, but like rewind to the part where I said, I'm just not like a very crafty person. Um, so that's what today's video is gonna be. Um, there was another disclaimer I was gonna say. Oh. The other disclaimer is this is not a how-to video. Um, I'm sorry if that's why you're here, but I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna kind of go with it and just let my creative juices lead me on this crafting journey. And I'll let you guys know everything I did wrong so you can learn from my mistakes. I'll let you know what I did right and we can go from there. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. I'm excited to get into it and I'm gonna go gather my supplies and get set up downstairs to start crafting. See you there. So I decided to chug some water before my crafting extravaganza and spilled on my sweatshirt. Um, but I have my canvas. I'll link which ones I got in the description. Um, it's like a five pack from Joann's. I have some scalpel, scalpel, not what it's called. <laughs> What's <this> called? <laughs> scalpel. <laughs> it's truly I've been watching too much craze. Spackle? Uh, They're attacking Cardiff, give me the spackle. <laughs> I should just start this over completely. Um, but I'm gonna start on my first craft. I have my canvas. Um, these come in a five pack from Joann's. I'll link the exact ones I got in the description. Uh, they ship them right to you. They took forever, but I don't know. It's better than going to the store just for some canvases. And then I have my spackle. Uh, if you guys watch my entryway uh, makeover, you will see my difficulty with spackling. So we're gonna spackle today. And then I have two different things for the spackle. <laughs> I don't know what these are called. They're like spatulas. But this one's just regular. This is what you would typically spackle with to patch a wall. And then this one has like little teeth. So if I wanna do a little extra texture or- It's a trowel. It's a trowel. No, no. No, it is. That's, what, that's what actually what this says. Backsplash trowel. 
So those are all the supplies for craft number one. And then, if you're looking to spice things up, I highly recommend also grabbing yourself a refreshing June shine. Honey ginger lemon. And we're off. Wish me luck, guys. Um, so my spackle's pretty, pretty dry. That's a problem, it's supposed to be hot pink. Well, this is fun news. My spackle is like, my spackle is like totally dried out. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna see if I can get some from Amazon and do this a different day. But I'll do my other craft today. This is so disappointing. Look at my artwork. Tip number one, make sure you have good spackle. All right, fun personal fact about me. I'm not a patient person and I did not wanna to have to wait and do this a different day. So I did a quick Google search and found that you can kind of revive spackle by just simply adding water to it, which makes perfect sense. Um, so I took a bunch of the spackle from the little jar and put it in this plastic bowl. Um, but I added some water and we're getting, getting there on a different texture. So stay tuned. A few moments later. I've been mixing the dried out spackle with water and it's still a little chunky, but my arm's tired. So, <laughs> and I have four more canvases. So if I screw this one up and this doesn't work, I can try again. So I'm gonna just go ahead and give it a shot. So I think I'm done. My spackle ended up a little chunky in places, and I know spackle's supposed to be chunky, but I mean like globs of dried that wasn't mixing in with the water. But I think it'll look pretty cool once it's dry. Stay tuned. It's gonna take like 24 hours for it to dry, which, you know, in actuality of this video means you're gonna see it in three, two, one. Project number two, for your supplies, you need some polymer clay. I got this off Amazon. I will link it in the description. You will need, I mean, that's really the only thing you actually need, but I just have other things that I'll just like share with you guys just in case. These fancy tools, also from Amazon. They are good for cutting and other things when you're using your clay. And then, I have a handy dandy mat to use as my workspace so I don't totally F up our dining room table. The final thing you need is a giant a grapefruit and hibiscus hard kombucha. And if you dare, a Yeti can koozie. So between the two projects, this is the one I'm probably even more unsure of what I'm doing. I saw the Lone Fox video, oh, my, Sam's laughing at me. I saw the Lone Fox video of this like months ago and I did not refer back to it. So I'm just gonna kind of go for it. I'm just, I'm, as I said earlier, I'm letting the creative juices flow. It still isn't raining and Sam is once again laughing at me. So we're just gonna get into it.
much fun spending the afternoon doing some little crafts. I have decided it is now called a crafternoon. Um, but I'm so happy with how they both turned out. I honestly was doubting my ability and <laughs> thought it was gonna be slightly disastrous. And other than the spackle hiccup at uh, the beginning of the canvas project, they both were super easy, quick projects. And it was just a fun way to spend the afternoon. I think both of these will look really great in our home. They're super easy, super affordable. I will link all of the supplies in the description in case you guys want to. I will link all the products in the description in case you guys want to try either of these crafts out. If you do try them out, let me know in the comments. Let me know any tips or tricks you learned along the way. But as I said, they're both pretty easy and straightforward projects. Um, if you guys liked this video, please hit it with a thumbs up. I would love to spend more crafternoons with you. <laughs> uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you guys next time.